Hello, this is Magda, the Warsaw Guide, and today it's time for the story of the Warsaw Mermaid. The story says that once upon a time there were two mermaids that were living uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. At some point they decided to go to the east, uh, again, like the prince with the unicorns, uh, and they swam into the Baltic Sea. One of them stayed uh, in Denmark, in Copenhagen. The other one decided to swim a little farther uh, till she reached uh, the Gdańsk Bay and till she found the uh, Wisła River. The mermaid decided to swim uh, up the river to the sources of it, uh, but when she was more or less in the middle of the length of the river, uh, she spotted a nice village with lovely people, very hard-working people, they were mostly fishermen, uh, and she decided to stay with them. Every evening she was singing them a song, uh, a song that was putting them to sleep, uh, because they were so tired that they couldn't just fall asleep. You know, you basically know that feeling. You're very, very tired, uh, you want to rest, you want to sleep, but you just can't. So uh, thanks to the mermaid, the hard-working people of Warszawa, of the Warsaw uh, village, could uh, rest at night. But as usual, there were also two men uh, that decided to profit from the mermaid. Uh, the, at the time, uh, the current ruling prince wasn't living in Warsaw, he was living a little further, so they decided to catch the mermaid and take her to the prince. Uh, maybe he'll be really, really amazed uh, with this unique creature and he'll give them some money. So they had a plan. They were to capture the mermaid uh, and uh, they would take her to the prince. They were quite smart. Uh, they realized that the mermaid couldn't chant them with her song, uh, so they decided to put wax in their ears. They thought about it. They did it. They captured uh, the mermaid. Uh, they uh, wanted to take her uh, to the prince, but there was one problem. They didn't think about it uh, earlier. It was in the evening, when they wanted to take her to the prince, uh, at least a day of journey, they wouldn't begin it at night. Outside Warsaw, outside the village, uh, there were many, many dangerous creatures, uh, many robbers, forest. So uh, they'd rather wait till the morning. Uh, but they didn't have a place to put the mermaid for the night, so they decided to go to their friend who had a barn. Um, they offered him some money, uh, they promised him that they will share the reward from the prince, uh, and their friend decided to take the mermaid in. They went home, very, very happy, proud of themselves, the plan was working, and the mermaid stayed with their friend. The problem was that the friend didn't put wax in his ears. The mermaid started singing, enchanted uh, by her song. Uh, the man took her to the river. He released her uh, into the river, and when she was already in the middle of the uh, of the river, she turned back to the village. Uh, she said that she loved the place. She really loved the people, uh, but now she'll be going away. She can't stand the fact that they were trying uh, to hurt her. But uh, as she really, really enjoyed her time there, she promised that she will come back. She'll come back to defend the village in the time of the greatest need. And then she swam away. As she promised to be a defender of the city, uh, our mermaid is usually portrayed with the saber uh, and with the shield. She'll fight for the city, she will protect it. Uh, that's why you'll see her with those two 
uh, things in her hands. Of course, this is just a legend, uh, but uh, the mermaid used to be a symbol of war, so uh, since the Middle Ages, uh, we know that she was portrayed on the seal of the city council uh, of the old Warsaw uh, in the 1400s. Uh, if you take a look uh, at the screen right now, you can see that she was quite different from the mermaid that you can see uh, usually uh, in Warsaw right now. Uh, her upper half was human. Quite often it was a male body. Uh, her lower half wasn't a fish body. Uh, she had a body of a bird uh, with her wings unfolded, uh, with the um, tail of a snake somehow, and the claws of an eagle. Later in the 17th century, uh, the call of arms changed a little bit. Uh, it was already a female body in the upper half uh, and a fish body in the lower half, uh, though it was still having some uh, monstrous features. Uh, you can see uh, something that looks a little bit like wings uh, on that lower half uh, and uh, feet, chicken feet, claws, who knows. Uh, basically, it was a monster that was typical uh, for the um, uh, for the towns uh, that were founded in the Middle Ages to have monsters as their coat of arms. It was to scare away people from coming to the town, uh, not to uh, invite them. And you can see that version of the mermaid uh, in the market square, but not on the monument. Uh, if you look at the southern side of the old market square, uh, on one of the houses you can see the decoration. Uh, there is this version of the mermaid uh, and a year, the year 1953. Uh, that's the year uh, when this house was reconstructed after the World War II. There are also some uh, pictures, some illustration uh, portraying the Warsaw at the time, and you can see it right now. Uh, it's, uh, it also has uh, this uh, newer version of the mermaid. Our current coat of arms, uh, mermaid, surprise, surprise, uh, was designed uh, in 1938, uh, and it has been restored in 1990. Now let's take a look at the few Warsaw mermaids, uh, starting with the one that is most popular, uh, the ones located in the middle of the old market square. Uh, that Warsaw mermaid uh, was created uh, in the 1850s uh, as a part of the new water pipe system um, to uh, celebrate somehow creation of this first real water pipe system uh, in Warsaw a few fountains were installed and uh, our most Warsaw mermaid in the middle of the old market square was supposed to be one of them uh, well one that is currently in the square is actually a copy uh, but the original was placed there in 1855 uh, in the middle of the old market square that was really market square at the time there were a lot of stalls with different things uh, to be bought the design of the monument changed over the years but it was one thing that was always the same uh, the actual mermaid in 1920s uh, the um, monument was moved a little further to the south of Warsaw so, or to the solids area uh, and was there during the World War II. Maybe this is the reason why it wasn't destroyed by the Germans in the first months of the of the war, as it happened with a few uh, other monuments in Warsaw, as with the uh, monument of the uh, Friedrich Chapelle uh, in uh, Wajenki Park. It was damaged, though, uh, during the struggles between the uh, German forces uh, and the Red Army uh, that was at the time stationed on the right side uh, of the river. Uh, those damages were repaired after the war, uh, and uh, Warsaw was placed uh, in the park, still in the solids area, uh, though the park wasn't really easy to patrol and the mermaid was damaged. Uh, that was the reason uh, why the decision was made to move the mermaid back uh, to the old town area. At first the mermaid was put uh, on the remains of the Marshall Tower overlooking the new town. But again, uh, it was damaged many times, the saber was stolen, so the decision was made uh, to bring it back to the market square. Um, in 1990, uh, the copy 
uh, was placed in the market square, and the original can be seen in the Museum of Warsaw, also in the market square. The second popular Warsaw mermaid uh, was created uh, shortly before the World War II uh, by Ludwika Nichova, the sculpture. Um, it was a part of the renovation uh, of the Vistula River banks. Uh, there were uh, beautiful walking paths that were created there, so-called Viswa Boulevards, uh, and the monument of uh, of our mermaid was supposed uh, to be another part uh, of that renovation plan. The girl that was a model uh, for the monument later took part uh, in the Warsaw Uprising, and she died in the Warsaw Uprising. Her name was Kristina. Uh, Krahelska. Uh, her name was revealed after the war uh, because she agreed to pose for the, for the monument, but she didn't want to spread the news. As with the previous mermaid, uh, that uh, monument wasn't also destroyed during the World War II, but still damaged uh, because it was located just by the Viswa River um, by the end of uh, Tamka Street, leading straight. Uh, to the river, then it was repaired, and it's in the same place since then. Uh, right now there is a, a metro station, the second metro line station uh, near the uh, monument, so it's very, very easy to find this mermaid, uh, and there uh, are some beautiful, beautiful uh, photos of her with a uh, right bank of the river in the background. But my favorite Warsaw mermaid, in my opinion the most beautiful one, uh, is located neither in the Old Town uh, nor by the banks of the Viswa River. It is located not far from the Old Town though, uh, very close to the Krakowski Przedmieście Street, uh, which is leading uh, to the Old Town from the center of the city. Uh, and it's on the top uh, of the uh, road viaduct, uh, leading from the Krakowski Przedmieście Street uh, to the streets closer uh, to the Wisła uh, River. It was created in the beginning of the 20th century uh, as a decoration uh, of that viaduct uh, by a sculpturer named Jan Wojdyga, uh, and you can see the influence of the Art Deco style when you're looking at this mermaid. This is, this is by, by far the most beautiful one. But of course, they are not the only mermaids that can be seen in the city. Uh, as a coat of arms uh, of Warsaw, the mermaid uh, was put on many buildings. Uh, some of them uh, were housing the uh, municipal institutions. Uh, on some of them, there were only the decorations. In the old town, you can see a townhouse uh, with four uh, mermaids because it's showing the evolution uh, of the Warsaw mermaid. Uh, absolutely fantastic uh, place. The evolution of the Warsaw Mermaid can be also seen on the doors of uh, Warsaw Cathedral. Uh, the actually, uh, the evolutions of the two uh, symbols connected to Warsaw, uh, one of them is of course the Warsaw Mermaid, the other one is our Polish uh, White Eagle. I hope you have enjoyed our story of the Warsaw Mermaid, uh, you have enjoyed the pictures of our mermaids all over the city. Uh, next time, uh, we will talk about the Viswa River. So thank you for watching. Until the next time.